so if you don't know by now, of course the ECX blue lit logos and stuff on this box, uh, you've obviously read the title. This is the new Ruckus Brushless uh, truck that I've got here. This is the 10th scale brushless edition. So let's peel back with our trusty scalpel this box of brown and see if we can't take a look at this kit. There we go. Man, they really take this thing up. I believe this box was meant for something else and they just stuffed it in there. Ooh, an invoice. That's depressing. Just says that we had to pay for this. <laughs> Take a look at that. See if we can get this thing out of here. Hmm. I think I need a new blade. This is more of a butter knife than a scalpel. All right, Ruckus Brushless. Get this out of here. You're no longer awesome, Box. Okay, here we go. Get rid of the paperwork. There is the Ruckus Brushless Edition. Let's See if we, well, obviously, the first thing I noticed, we got a different paint scheme uh, on the body. We've got a white and black scheme. Uh, that's the indication that this is the brushless edition. Uh, plus, it says brushless on the box. That would kind of give it away, too, huh? Open this thing up. Man, it won't even, I'm going to have to get a new, that's bad. I won't even cut the tape. All right. See if we can't take a look at this bucket of magnificence right here. Here it is. Now we got some other things in here. We'll set this aside. Don't go away. We want you back. Uh, all right. We've got package of instructions and battery foam. We've got the toolkit, uh, bind plug, so on. A lot of boring stuff in there. Some ruckus uh, decals. Throw that aside for a moment. In this box we've got the... Put that aside just for a second. This is our batteries for the remote, 4AA. We've got a power cord and the battery charger in here. This is the uh, two amp peak detection battery charger. It is set at two amps, it's not adjustable, but it does detect the peak and shuts off. That's what actually, sadly enough, uh, that is one of the better chargers that are out there that are included with the kits. Usually they just give you like a wall charger. I'm talking about the other brands, of course. Uh, they give you like a basic wall charger. That's at least a peak detection charger, two amp rating. So, you know, you get a little bit faster charge out of that. That's somewhat nice of them to do. Uh, okay, we don't need that. So let's put that aside. Just wanted to show you what was in there. that aside for the moment and get the final piece out. This is the, get rid of that box, a lot of boxes. This is the DX2E that comes with this. Uh, and again, it is nice that they've gone to a factory, you know, a actual Spectrum brand radio. Again, plastic steering wheel, not necessarily my favorite, but it, it is by far better 
than the old radio they originally started with, kind of a Skyfly knockoff, and I wasn't real crazy about that radio. This one's not so bad. Wish it had a foam wheel though. That's that's kind of sad. That that does feel a little cheap. But uh, DX2E included from the factory. Uh, let's not throw that aside. We'll be very careful with that. Put it down and take a look at the heart of this thing. Uh, let's cut here, zoom in on this, and take a closer look underneath the the cover, shall we? All right, here we are up close on our Ruckus Brushless. Take a look at that. Not bad, huh? Pretty cool looking truck. Let's pop the body off and take a close look underneath. Okay, there we are with the body off. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice is the Dynamite Taser uh, brushless system that's in this car. This is a waterproof combo and the speed control is capable of two or three cell uh, LiPo batteries. The motor is a 3300 kV four pole. Should provide good power and torque for, uh, especially for a two wheel drive truck. Uh, the transmission is all metal gear on this unit and has a gear differential as well. Uh, the differential is not sealed, so you won't be able to use any tuning fluids or anything like that. Pretty much just keep it all greased and you're good to go. Uh, this is a play truck, so, you know, I mean, you're not going to be trying to set your differential up to win the race, you know what I mean? Uh, but, nice and rugged. Now, the slipper clutch on this unit, uh, we do have a nice gear case there with an opening to adjust that. The slipper clutch is a dual disc unit on this model. Uh, the gears, they're 48 pitch uh, spur and pinion. We also have, let's see, what else can we discuss here? Uh, adjustable body mounts. So you can accommodate different, uh, different body shells, you know, when you're ready to change this out. You could get, you know, different size trucks and stuff and adjust accordingly. Or you could, you know, raise your body up a little bit if you wanted it a little bit taller. You could move it down a little bit if you wanted to as well. Uh, we've got uh, waterproof electronics, EC3 plug. Uh, not a bad plug, but hard to find other batteries with this. There's a lot more out there for Traxxas. A lot of guys, I probably would recommend changing that to a Traxxas plug just for you know ease of your future battery choice. Uh, this compartment here houses the uh, receiver and the uh, steering servo. This is not waterproof, okay? This compartment is just more of a splash shield than anything. You can get water through. I mean, there's a hole right in the top, so you can get water in there. If you're gonna be driving this in a lot of muck, you're gonna wanna pop this off during your cleaning process and clean everything out. But the receiver and the servo are both waterproofed, so you're good to go there. Uh, suspension feels pretty good on this model. Nice and lightly dampened. Feels like it absorbed the bumps and things pretty well. Uh, we've got pretty durable suspension arms as well. Fairly typical for the ECX cars that have, in my experience anyway, uh, these hold up really well, both front and rear. They're nice and beefy, they're durable, they're, they're somewhat flexible as well, so they will absorb a lot of abuse. Uh, Non-adjustable suspension on this model. Camber links and toe links. Let me flip that over. Toe links are non-adjustable. Ease of setup, I mean, pretty much you don't have to adjust anything, just slap your battery in it and go. Now, uh, durable bumpers front and rear, absorb the impacts really well, protect the truck really quick. Full bearings throughout. I figured that was a given, but you know, some do ask. This does have full bearings, both tires uh, in the wheels and the transmission as well. So, one of my biggest complaints with the ECX Ruckus in the past has been the servo saver. Uh, I mean, you could, on the old models, you could you could take this tire and just wiggle it back and forth like that and hardly move the servo at all. This one, you can tell, is not like that. Uh, that's working pretty well. What they've done is, and thank you ECX for listening uh, to your customer base, 
they have replaced the servo, well, they haven't replaced the servo saver. What they've done is added that metal ring down in there. Uh, that metal ring over the stock original plastic one has really increased the capability of that servo saver. All right, uh, that's pretty much our ruckus. Let's button this back up and zoom back out. All right, so time to wrap up our ruckus brushless review and unboxing here. You know, I like this, this paint scheme, just the sinister looking kind of black and white. It's just, I like that. It kind of matches the black wheels, uh, sets off the, the white, uh, you know, white outline letters or the white lettering on the tires. Pretty cool looking truck. I mean, th this this is really, this segment, tent scale, I'm talking just basic tent scale monster trucks, two or four wheel drive. Uh, it's one of my favorite segments. I, I really like these. They're a lot of fun. They're easy to get into. They're easy to maintain. Uh, now they're available in two or four wheel drive, uh, readily available anyway, and at reasonable prices. This truck stickers in at $289 uh, for this with everything included, uh, which is a great price, actually. When you consider the competition, uh, you've got the Stampede VXL, the two-wheel drive. I think it runs somewhere in the 339 range, give or take uh, five, ten bucks. Traxxas kind of varies their price, you know, depending on where you buy them. Uh, then you've got the other truck, which was, I just looked it up actually just to see. The Arma Granite, the 2013 brushless edition, Tower Hobbies right now, as of this day, it was $379. <laughs> uh, and it's, you know, it's two-wheel drive. It's the same setup as this or the, the VXL Stampede two-wheel drive. Uh, $379. You're within, what, $30 of the four-wheel drive VXL? That's a little steep. That's steep. Uh, I think they're, they're supposedly coming out with a 2014 edition of the Granite. I'd probably wait for that one if you're looking at a Granite. Uh, but this for 289, I, I think you've got a, a pretty good setup right here. And one of the things I really liked, I, I brought this over just to, to show you. Check it out compared to the Stampede four wheel drive. I mean, it's significantly longer. It's quite a bit bigger truck. Width wise, I mean, they're almost identical, uh, you know, but I mean, they're, it's got bigger tires little bit taller tire. I mean, it's what, three inches longer than the Stampede? I mean, this is 10th scale, but it's a big truck. I mean, it's impressively big. Uh, well, anyway, that is, I think, all I have for us on this. Can't wait to go drive this truck. I, I do like this category of RC. They are fun. Uh, you know, any car that you like that you can have fun with is a fantastic vehicle, regardless of who makes it, regardless of what anybody's opinion on it is. Uh, and this happens to be one that I think might be quite a bit of fun. I, I can't wait to go give it a try. So that's all she wrote for this. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.